Hi, this is a great lesson. It's called, I call it splish splash splosh because it's just about getting used to using paint, but using paint not in a careful, controlled way, and you make your marks for the trees and they're, they're all done by your hand moving in a particular way, and then you'd use the same action and the same brush to make the sea or the land or whatever it is. Because painting is about how you make your materials perform like they were the real thing and we can't do that just by one particular way of moving our hand and our arm we have to have lots and lots of different ways of turning and twisting and dabbing and dotting and splishing and splashing and sploshing so that we can actually get the, this media this paint to actually react with what's ever underneath it and the colors that are around it and the things that are on top of it um, to create the the mood and the atmosphere, the texture, the pattern, the dynamic of the painting that you've got in your head. We want to make it look, um, or you, we want to have in, in our repertoire a range of um, marks that will do that. And so this particular exercise, which I recommend you always do once a week, is just to get your paint, get all the different materials you've got, the brushes, the scrapers, the cards, the combs, the um, bristle brushes, the soft air brushes. I use kitchen implements quite a lot and just, and scrubbers and scrapers, and just have a bit of fun with the paint. Um, so we start by, um, with, and I'm using gouache in this uh, particular demo, um, to um, just use three colours. I'd use red, yellow and blue, use the primaries and um, start with the red and just spatter the paper, play around with the paint, put water on first, try some wet in wet, which is wet paint with in, 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 on wet paper, um, dry paint on wet paper, um, and just see what happens and use as many different um, materials and implements as you possibly can to create um, just it's an abstract piece it's not going to be anything and then when we've done it we'll have a look at it and see what happy accidents have occurred that may well be um, different um, particular parts of it that we can analyze and say well that actually looks like something um, that might be useful if and then we'll try and recreate it so here's a this is a quick video you're probably watching it now I think you should get the idea and that's that take care bye